Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately two o'clock in Honolulu, eight o'clock in New York. It is Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 28th day of May. 2021, and this is a special edition of the Gold Forecast, our daily report and weekend review. What an incredible week we have seen in both gold and copper. Those are trades we are involved in. We did pull profits on our gold, but rolled it over into now the most active August contract. We'll talk about all of that during our chart section. The show begins now. With the last trading day of the month concluded, we can say that this month was a phenomenal month for gold, gaining about 8% over the last couple of months, gaining about 11.5%. We are still looking at June gold, that closed at 1903.70. We did roll over our June positions yesterday into the August contract. In terms of the August pricing, that's a little bit higher right now at 1906.30, up $7.80. We'll cover our trades as we pull up our charts. This first chart is a simple weekly chart in candlestick format. I do have resistance and support areas. I do have a Fibonacci retracement along with a Fibonacci extension. First, we did enter a trade at the beginning of the month. We entered the June position at a price of $1,855. We did roll over our position yesterday, and we exited the trade at $1,897.50. The profit on the trade was $4,650 per COMEX contract. We then went into simultaneously the August position, and August, as I said, is trading at a little bit of a premium, and when we pull up that chart, you will see that we are currently at 1906.30. Traders, we're back to looking at the weekly continuous contract. It is not changed over into August yet, but we can still use this for our upside projections and our current target of the August gold trade that we just put on yesterday. Although we pulled $4,600 out of the market already on the first leg, I believe the potential for gold to move higher is high. The probability is good. And the numbers that I'm looking at are between two points, and it is where I am pegging current resistance beginning at $1,941.70. That is the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement, as well as this top that occurred at the beginning of the year that comes in at approximately 1965. So those are the two targets I think are quite achievable in terms of a top target. Right now it's 1993, and that is something we will talk about next week as I explain in more detail the Fibonacci extension that we have up on the screen now. I have a daily chart of the continuous contract of gold futures. We have been using this chart over the last couple of weeks, and one thing has been clear. And that is that once we broke above the 200-day moving average, that is this dashed line in yellow, it was kind of off to the races with a new leg of this rally that really began beginning of April, end of March, when we achieved this double bottom down here. That's why we have seen such a spectacular move. Also, our daily subscribers know that we have been looking at over the last couple of trading days the fact that we have seen a golden cross between the 50-day and 100-day exponential moving averages. Now what we have is a widening of the gap between those, and that to me is extremely bullish. I have converted our daily standard candlestick chart into a Henkin Ashi chart. Of course, the key difference between those two Japanese chart styles is that the Henkin Ashi derives its opening price as the midpoint from the prior day. What we look for in this type of chart is large body size as well as no lower wick. You can see over these last two trading days, even though we have had gains, it shows lower wicks with small body sizes. Now, you can see that at key pivot points, or they do also occur when the market goes sideways or consolidates at a new price high. That is personally what I believe we are witnessing, because after this tremendous rise from about, call it 1830, 
to over 1900 on a closing basis. It would not surprise me if the market consolidated at this price point before moving to higher ground. But I do believe that the new level of support has now become $1,900 per ounce. This is a three-line break chart, another form of Japanese-style charting. And this tells us clearly what a dynamic rally we've had, which has really been a series of price ascents, followed by a forming of a base at a new price high, and then a spike to a higher price, consolidating, higher price, consolidating, higher price, consolidating, and so forth. That has been the overall trend, really, for this particular leg of the rally that began at the end of March. This last chart we are looking at is a area chart based on the daily close in line format. What is so important to me on this chart is it really highlights how important this recent activity is once we broke above the 200-day moving average. This, of course, is the record all-time high, and you can see we were consistently above the 200-day moving average all the way until about the middle of the correction that occurred immediately following gold hitting 2,088. Maintain your current long August positions. All traders ha should have pulled profits on their Junes and maintain your current stop. The other metal that we are actively trading right now is copper. We entered the trade at the beginning of the month when copper was trading at $4.55 a pound. It did move lower shortly after we entered, but this week alone, we had one day in which we saw a 3 plus percent gain, about 14 cents, and currently, July copper is at $4.67 per pound. Traders, we are looking at a daily area chart of copper futures. Of course, we entered, about, I think, May 6th at $4.55 a pound. We then witnessed copper go to a new all-time record closing price, which comes in at $4.75. We then also witnessed a pretty steep decline. Our stop has been maintained throughout the entire trade at approximately $4.39. So we didn't get stopped out. And then over this last week, we had that tremendous 14-cent day. Currently, we are at $4.67 per pound. My target for this is probably, because it's a July contract, somewhere around $4.80, $4.85, but I will look to roll that over because I am expecting copper to exceed $5 a pound by the end of the year. One thing I can say is this has been a most interesting trade. This arrow here points to when we entered the trade on the 6th day of March. Following that, in two days, we saw it go to an all-time high. You can see that on a daily candlestick, $4.87. But from there, we had a methodical decline, and it did come close to hitting our stop. But really, what we saw was consolidation in the market. And this, of course, is yesterday's dramatic 14-cent rise, 3.34% and current pricing. Traders, maintain your current long position in copper. Maintain your current stop. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you on Tuesday for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.